friends welcome back to a new video as you guys can see we are cleaning the gutters and by we my husband is cleaning the gutters i had him go up there and with his handheld leaf blower blow out all those pine needles and dirt because last year it was super dangerous to go outside and just to go outside because the floor was very mothy like it was getting green and slippery so that's why he's doing this i have mentioned before this is a rental friends but not because it's a rental i feel like people should not take care of the homes like we can take care of the home enjoy the home and just leave, live in them peacefully and happy you know if you take care of the home the home is gonna take care of you guys so i really encourage you guys to just maintain your home happy so that you guys can be living in it happy i did mention last time that we are actually not moving the owner of the home never said that he was gonna sell it i'm guessing he just decided not to which we are happy for because honestly we are falling in love in this area in this neighborhood it's just so peaceful to live here honestly and the kids are happy we are happy so i just feel like god didn't want us to move so we are going to stay here enjoy the time here want to show you guys this halloween crew neck we're gonna call long sleeve i did purchase it last year friends but i forgot to wear it you guys know that here in the united states they do bring out holiday things two months in advance and i purchased it and forgot about it did not wear it for halloween i found it in christmas and i was like i forgot to wear this for something to wear today because it is cold and today is halloween so i i'm gonna wear it i'm gonna wear it today just to use it and see i do like this movie you guys know which one it is it's night nightmares before christmas i really like this one paired it with these leggings i did purchase them last year as well for a holiday christmas party and they're very comfortable they're more like a, a pantsuit situation they do have lines i don't think you guys can see them but they're very comfortable and that's what i'm gonna wear them. i was going to wear them with a biker shorts but it's cold like i said and i do have my hair up in braids because yesterday i had to wash my hair twice in the morning i took a shower and had to go to the store because i forgot to buy candy for the trick-or-treaters so i rushed to walmart and i was lucky to find a few bags and then in the afternoon since we were cleaning out the gutters there was dust everywhere friends everywhere so i obviously had to wash my hair again so i put them in, in braids just so that it didn't get like more damage when i slept and yeah i'm gonna take it out get ready but first i'm going to sort out all this clothes and put it load in the washer because I need to wash this clothes and fold all the clothes that I have washed.
I did feed Jimena breakfast, cleaned up the kitchen. I didn't wash the dishes, friends, because I really wanted to focus today in folding all this laundry that I actually had from Friday, friends. I've been washing. I always try to do at least one load a day because that makes it where my laundry baskets are not over full with just laundry, dirty laundry. So I did wash it, but I didn't have time to fold it. And that's okay. Sometimes we don't have the time to do everything in one day. And I just feel like that's normal. That's normal, especially when we have little ones that require of all of our attention. That is very normal because right now I have two babies under two. Jimena, she's going to turn two in December and Caleb just turned five months. So they are very small babies and they are also getting laundry dirty constantly because they are eating all the time, especially when they're going through their growth spurts. But I know that's okay because they're not going to do that all their lives. I know that I have a almost 12 year old. I can't believe he's grown so much because time flies friends time flies and we're not gonna have them small forever my oldest he already takes care of his laundry he basically does most of his things by himself so it's crazy i'm only washing for basically five of us but i know sometimes it feels like it's 10 of us but i'm not gonna have them little forever and i'm going to probably miss it miss it honestly I think about it sometimes so I just do it um not hating the task I try to do it as in peace as I can because I feel like that's gonna make it even easier and I'm not dreading to do the task I will let you guys enjoy all this laundry motivation and I hope that you guys really get motivated and Get a load done, fold a basket, something. It's been so long I didn't see you on my. You change a lot, you look a different guy. I can't stop thinking about you since last night. Make it, baby, the word about it ended Maybe now is our time 
want to make it Our love is stronger than that Do you believe that too? I don't know about you friends, but when I find money in the washer, it makes me feel like I won the lottery. Like if the money wasn't mine, because I'm pretty sure it's mine. It was my clothes. And then it was my husband's clothes, which it ends up being mine anyway. So yes, but it, for some reason, it makes me feel like it wasn't. And I just want a super amazing price. And as you guys see right here, I am putting away Jimena's clothes she does only take up one drawer and I feel like that's enough for a toddler because she's constantly going through clothes growing so I feel like that's a fair amount of clothes and like I do hang up most of her clothing just like bottoms socks that's basically all in the drawers and then the bottom two are Kimberly's drawers I was debating whether to put a dresser in her room or not, but I'm thinking I might do it just so that she becomes responsible with her laundry. She is turning eight in December, which is crazy to me. She's growing so fast as well, but I don't know, friends. What age do you guys think should be like a good age to start putting your kids to do their own laundry? Because I feel like if I start her late, she's not gonna like to do it it's gonna become a very annoying task because she never got to like kind of handle it herself so when she's older she's gonna feel like it's a very dreadful task um with Isa, i did have him like help me here and there i encouraged him by like you know what i'm gonna get you your own laundry basket it's gonna be only your clothes you know that's what i'm thinking to do with her just getting her her like special laundry basket, maybe like a pink one or purple one and have her only put her clothes there. No towels, just her clothes so that like every other day I'll have her take it out and separate it so that she could start handling her laundry by herself. Because if not, it's going to become a very dreadful task for her. And that's not a good thing because everybody has to do laundry come on like we all use clothing we have to eventually do laundry so that's what i'm gonna do maybe next year that's gonna start i'm thinking i am going to get her the dresser and just move her clothes so that she could become a little bit more aware of what she's getting dirty and being able to put it away by herself and everything but yes i'll keep you guys updated with how it goes and then what I'm getting her so that I could get her encouraged. Hopefully she could be as responsible as I saw and just get her things. She does like to organize so I'm thinking that she's going to like it. And it's just that. Like get your kids involved in chores. Well, Blippi. Where did you see Blippi? Yeah, it was in school. What? The actual? No. Or it was a costume? It was it was it was a costume. Yeah. Yeah? It was really him? Oh, wow. That's me. The one that was in the school?
to do in my room or restroom is clean up this sink vanity friends because one of my bronzers broke thanks to Jimena that dug her finger in it and it was everywhere friends but I'm gonna hurry up and do this because I'm gonna get the kids ready by that it's Jimena, Caleb and Kim for their Halloween costumes and we're gonna go out and trick or treat with them and enjoy our day friends i hope that you guys had a happy halloween a great day and don't stress about chores friends they are chores we could get them done we are always trying to get each other motivated but first this our family and we want to be happy too so do not forget that and i will see you guys on the next one bye friends Over. 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 Over.